Okay. Okay. Um, girls and boys, um, we are back here again. And um, what I forgot to tell you um, in the last video is that you can find your darts on page 82 of Needlework for Schools. This book, the only book that you really need for this class. Okay. Um, I also wanted to show you how you should mount your samples when you do your samples you have to keep them you have to have them in a little portfolio remember the the um the folders that i ask you guys to collect from school so this is how you would mount a sample for your portfolio if you don't have a printer you can write it neatly by hand and what you would do is use some masking tape and you just roll the masking tape show you my masking tape is so old that it is taken some time to get it off right right so you take a little piece of the masking tape like this and just roll it over on itself all right so you get a piece of two-sided tape there now and then you can put it onto your bristle board back in or if you don't have bristle board you can use a sheet of paper okay and you do it like this so it will keep it in place but if you need to move it you can always peel it away to see the other side okay so this is how you mount your samples so the second sample is our diamond shaped dot okay and this is a full dot so this gives you all the shaping you need for, for your back from top to bottom from right up at the back of your bust here all the way to your hip okay so this is the shaping that will bring the waistline in inward and give you that nice nicely shaped garment like a dress or a gown or a coat right anything that needs shape right and needs to be fitted to your body these are the darts that you're going to be using so in the same manner we are going to fold the dot in half like this okay make sure that the points you don't go over the points on either side okay you can pin it in place again as usual and this time what we have to do is start with the three little flat stitches right on the edge of the fabric then you stitch outwards you come back in and you end with another three small stitches okay so take a look now see what we're going to be doing so i have it here and i start with my hands because i don't want to use my feet and i stitch too much stitches so i want my three little stitches right on the edge of the fabric when i reach there now I can start with the foot pedal. Right, so I'm reaching right on the edge here again. Straighten my fabric a little bit. One, two, and because you're doing it by hand, you can see exactly where your needle is going in and you want it to go as near to the edge as possible, all right? Take, lift, lift your um, presser foot and pull your thread backwards. Clip and tie off. I don't know why this, this thread is not um, stitching all that great. It's not a nice type of thread I'll have to change it in a while because I don't like the stitches I'm getting with it on the machine but it will suffice for now for what I'm doing because you have an idea of what is going on so this is what we have here so you see we have the three little stitches right up to the edge here and right down to the bottom here near to the edge again and pull out our pins and same thing we go and we press now what we'd usually do with this type of dart is 
clip it here right at the middle to ease it for it to open because remember when we when we have it here now it has to open to the top and open to the bottom so you need to have this little edge here ease and what we would normally do is take our hand stitches and whip the edge here so it will free okay we can't go to the, the, the surgeon and surge it or zigzag it because it's too small so you just whip it with your hand needle just give it a few whipping stitches on either side here so that it don't free out okay but it will give you the ease that you need so that the dart you see you have a dart that gives you some shape in here right so the same thing we would press the dart towards the center back or the center front of the gun And what this dab did is give me the shape that I needed where my waistline would have been smaller it would pull in on the waistline and open up for the hips and open up to the top of the garment okay so that is how you get your shaping in garments okay and this one is your full dart